In this video, we briefly look at how duty of care can be established under statute and specific the work health and safety legislations that are present. So the main uh, legislation that we're concerned with in New South Wales is the Work Health and Safety Act 2011. Now, the Act specifies a number of items related to employers and employees and how the safety has to be instilled in the workplace. For instance, the Act specifies that employers need to ensure the health, safety and welfare of their employees. And they do that uh, through maintaining plants and equipment that the employees uh, utilize and through making sure that the systems of work that are implemented are safe for employees to use. Employers also have a responsibility of providing training and instructions as per the Work Health and Safety Act. Now, in defense, an employer can state that it was not practicable to comply with uh, certain conditions specified in the act or that they had no control over the incident that occurred and they have to prove that. The act also specifies the notification process for incidents and it talks about how disputes uh, can be resolved. Now in terms of the employees, the act specifies that they have to take reasonable care. So if you've got an employee that was injured on the construction site and they hadn't exercised reasonable care, then it is very likely that the court wouldn't find a duty of care had existed uh, for, for, for the employer to provide that duty of care towards the, the employee. Now, when you've got a case that contains or specifically targets uh, incidents in a construction site. The first thing that you have to do is you have to refer to legislation, specifically the Work Health and Safety Act in New South Wales. And you gotta make sure that as a plaintiff in this case, that you can establish that the defendant urged you a duty of care as specified in legislation. Now, a case, an important case over here is the one involving Leighton Contractors and Fox in 2009. So in this Australian case, there was an incident on a construction site and the court found that there was a duty of care that was owed and that the contractors, the head contractor was negligent in the fact that they didn't provide an induction training for the worker. And that's why the worker was found to have been involved in an incident where they got injured. So the act, the Work Health and Safety Act specifies that the employers are responsible for inducting the workers uh, on a construction site. And if the employer fails to follow that, then they will be found to be negligent. 